In this video, we'll walk you through Level 3 programming with Snap and your FinchBot. If you have worked in Levels 1 and 2 in Snap, you already know the basics. Level 3 expands on those skills with changing parameters and timing. The big difference here is that the blocks no longer have built-in delays. So if you run a movement block, the Finch will move in that direction until it is told to stop. The LED block sets the color of the LED built into the beak. The red, green, and blue intensities are set individually from 0 to 10. Each element will add up to the final mixed color. The lightning or buzzer block will play a musical note ranging from A to G. You can also put in a number and it will play that frequency in hertz. This block will play the sound for half a second. The arrows work as your movement blocks, moving your bot forwards, left, right, and backwards. The number next to the arrow notes the speed at which the bot will move. Just type in a number ranging from 0 to 10. Starting in level 3, there is an additional movement block. The double arrowed block controls each wheel independently. This will allow you to create arcs, spirals, and other fun movements. The wait block causes the program to stall for the number of 110 seconds. The default is set to 5, which is half of a second. Let's take a look at the example program on the left. Here, when the spacebar is hit, the bot will move forward at a speed of 5 while the beak turns purple and a C note is played. The bot will then wait for one second and stop moving forward before the beak turns green. Lastly, the bot will play a B note and the program will finish. Let's test it out. Now that we know what makes up a program like this, let's make a new one. To delete the program, just select it and drag it to the left. In this case, we'll keep the control block, as we'll use it for our program. I'll start by adding a backwards arrow with a value of 5. Then let's go with an LED block that turns the beak blue along with that. Now add a weight block with a value of 10. Next, I'll add a stop block, just to give my bot an extra moment. And now I'll put on a double arrow giving the left wheel a value of 10, and another LED block turning the beat green. And now we'll add another wait, and lastly, another stop. You'll almost always want to stop at the end of your program, or else the bot will continue to run. And now, I just hit the spacebar to test it. Now we'll move on to the example on the right. This example shows how you can use level 3 blocks to build more complex programs, if you also include blocks from other categories. This program includes such blocks. Test it by pressing the A key. In this program, the Finch backs up and changes its beak color whenever it sees an obstacle. Try altering this program. The Finch sensors are in the sensing category and blocks that allow your program to use loops or branches are in the control category. These blocks are explained in more detail in our video tutorials of the regular SNAP interface, but you can also learn how they work by right-clicking on a regular SNAP block and selecting Help. And that was SNAP programming with Finch in Level 3. For more, check out our other video tutorials.